All right, our competitors selected things unbelievably quickly. And we're going to hop right into our first match of top eight for the night with Hazar and Sam. Again, this is a best of five. Oh, we got that Doc versus Politana. Yep, Palutena getting those aerials to connect in real nice. But Azar did all of that damage in just a few hits. And that's definitely the power difference between uh, these two characters. Yo, what a brilliant cape by Azar! Completely nullifying that approach. That was some super deep matchup knowledge, you can tell. Alright, that dash not dash grab not quite gonna hit. Hazar has switched also to the white cape, I'm noticing. All right. Now, that's the uh, another important thing about this matchup, too, is that Palutena does not have any hitboxes uh, on her teleportation, the up B. So if Hazar is able to get a hitbox out, uh, two framing should be... Uh, you know, just easier. Besides the fact that uh, teleport recoveries take a little longer to grab the ledge anyways. Azar unable to avoid that explosive flame, but that's okay. We're back in neutral again. I wanted to make a gimmer, a gimmer joke there, chat, but I just couldn't quite connect it. Just like how we couldn't quite see that tech. But Azar is making it back to the stage, and we love to see that. So, yep, continuing to uh, bring bring those pills there to advance. Oh, and that back air, uh, not quite enough to escape. Neutral get up working. Hazar yeah, really looking to build back this damage. Not going for the up air that time as it wasn't going to connect. It must have been a you know different di. Wow! And just a few grabs, down throws, and some extensions off of that. Uh, Hazar has now taken the lead versus Sam. Good drift by Hazar to completely avoid that explosive flame, but unfortunately, I think that drift was just too much. Uh, Hazar not able to make it back. Good air dodge there by Hazar. Hazam def uh, Sam definitely looking to continue to build up this damage. Oh man, not able to get the right spacing on that. Still in lag for Hazar to uh, exert his will. Damn, immediately going for those forward air reads. Uh, what is Sam's answer going to be? Uh, it's Azar's newfound pressure, and it was that that spike. Holy hell! Straight to hell. All right. Definitely uh, an explosive end to that first game here in top eight of Just Tech It 5. Remains to be seen what happens uh, in the next sets. I'm sure we're going to see some adaptation at this level of play, uh, even mid-game, mid-interaction adaptation. Um, yeah, it's going to be exciting, that's for sure. Ready? Our competitors wasting no time running it right back this is what you'd love to see. Oh, never mind. Something is being selected. Ready? All right. Doc doesn't seem to be the play, so we're seeing that wonderful Lucas come back out. Let's see what happens. Back to FD again. 
Now, Lucas definitely has more range and I would say a better recovery than Dr. Mario. Uh, also, the projectile, I think, might be a little more useful because it doesn't have to deal with the bouncing arc of the pills. And Hazar wasting no time trying to go for that spike with that back air. Oh, wow. Can Hazar heal with those uh, explosive flames? I think the answer is yes. If not, definitely on that auto reticle. Uh, definitely a good choice uh, for some counterplay. <clears throat> All right, those down smashes not quite connecting. Wow, that down uh, tilt was so fast. It doesn't even look like... Oh, okay. A uh, bunch of strange interactions there. Great. Uh, I mean, that worked out in Hazar's favor. That's for sure. Oh, my God. The pressure by Hazar off the ledge there was insane. Sam had no choice but to air dodge because... Otherwise, getting hit by that, uh, I mean, it also could have just been for mashing. It's hard to tell, to be honest. But Hazar was ready. Yeah, I love that double stall, side magnet stall by Hazar to uh, just keep all that going. And that back air going through the side magnet, not quite enough. Now, Hazard didn't try to keep that side magnet through that explosive flame, so maybe it doesn't actually connect that. Hazard ready. Oh, my God, that's not it. And it is. Yo, that game went very, very differently. That was a three stock. Great counter pick choice by Hazar. Uh, that's what you want to see. All right, we're 1-1, one, one, hopping right into the next game. Our competitor's keeping this uh, nice and quick. Three, two, All right, we've had a stage change. We're now on Pokemon Story 2, but we'll see which competitor is going to get to tell a story with their combos here. And right now, it's looking like Sam. Damn, Sam ready with literally everything, covering so much. Little double jump bait, not leading to anything. Reverse Nair out of shield. Again, Hazard, oh, letting go of shield just a little too early. Not able to get that parry. Yep, that's what I thought thought about earlier. Uh, Lucas will be able to heal out of auto reticle, which is so great because that means, uh, you know, Sam's not going to be able to use that as a pressure tool. Uh, out of fear of of having to force more interactions uh, to get stocks. Okay, and it does heal uh, Explosive Flame. Yeah, I mean, the Zar definitely taking big advantage of this distance where Sam feels, uh, looks like Sam's feeling a little more comfortable to throw out these projectiles. Uh, it's just not going to work in this matchup. Sam is going to need to find some other way to provide pressure uh, to take down Hazar and to hopefully reverse that three stock, uh, you know, that, that happened last match. Again, we're already seeing that mid-match, mid-interaction uh, adaptation now that Sam isn't going for those projectiles. Oh, 
Oh no. Azar not getting the turnaround. And again, another heal. This is going such distance for Hazar. All right, that throw not quite going to kill. What's the ledge trap edge guard going to be? Uh, and the answer is, well, nothing really. I mean, we've definitely seen uh, Sam put enough damage now on Hazar where it would have been over like 150%. Uh, but because of all these heals, uh, Sam is uh, losing their stock first. Good up throw there by Hazar. All right, back throw or back air, evening it up immediately. Yo, Hazar wasting absolutely no opportunities to get some more heals, which I think is really smart. Uh, definitely, you want to make your opponent work more than you. Uh, you know, work harder than you have to uh, at all times. Again, we're seeing Sam go back to those projectiles that are just not working. The double jump is caught. Oh my god, Zara is able to extend that, but the double jump is now back. Regular jump is back. That was a great uh, down tilt by Sam to cover the uh, snake recovery that Hazar went for. Our great jump read by Hazar. We have exactly one stock left for Sam, which could be, uh, you know, what, what turns the tide here. Depends, to, depends on what Sam is able to do to uh, answer back. Again, this is a best of five, so uh, this is not either of our competitors' winner side stocks. Again, something we also haven't seen at any point uh, in this set is Sam attempting to use their own counter to potentially deal with these uh, PK fires, or even the PK thunder for that matter. And again, I think that just goes to show that even though we're at, you know, some of the highest levels of play, uh, you know, there's still so much depth to all of the matchups here in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Azar being absolutely relentless in the pursuit of damage on Sam. But that back air is a nice clean way to even up these stocks. But can Sam even up this percentage or get another one of those uh, quick... You know, aerial dares right off the stage. All right, we're, we're back in the ledge trap situation here. Yeah, just a few more percentages, and I'm pretty sure Hazar is going to be able to do an up throw. Uh, we're definitely... Uh, Gonna see some crazy stuff. Oh, there it is. There it is. And Hazar will now advance in the set. Um, he's now up to one. Jeff, cheers, my guy. Commentary is always on point. Hey, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Uh, I'm glad you're enjoying the stream. I'm I'm by myself today, uh, which uh, definitely makes this, uh, you know, difficult.
right, we're going into the next game here of this set. And this could potentially be Sam's last stocks in the winner's side of the bracket. And Hazar feeling a little more confident going right back to the Dr. Mario, which is a little bit of an interesting choice because the Lucas was doing uh, actually fantastic. But I guess when you're up 2-1, uh, you know, you have a game to screw around. I like how Sam went for that dare off the ledge. That could have potentially been uh, momentum shifting. All right, the reflector finally coming out for that. You know, again, uh, this is what I'm talking about. At this level of play, you know, there are adaptations in between games, uh, in between interactions. And it's honestly so interesting to see how competitors uh, change their gameplay to each other. Um, I don't believe Sam has a double jump. All right, Hazar not quite able to get that ledge trap, but that tornado will connect. Hazar now up in the stocks. 50% lead, not too bad, not too shabby. All right. And Lazar looking to build up this damage. Good jump away. You know, I think something else that we also see at this higher level of play is, you know, a lot of characters, a lot of competitors, I should say, will pick a defensive option after getting comboed, but the real, like, top players will, they'll pick movement out of certain options, and they'll know when they can do that. And I think that's something that, uh, you know, to improve, you know, you just have to have that level of, of depth of knowledge of the game to be able to do that. Oh, interesting. I thought that up air was going to send to the other side of the stage. A uh, little shield angle taunting, it looks like. Little adjustments there. And that's a little yeet and delete. We now have Sam potentially on the last stock here of winners. And Hazar seems to have gotten the download. The double jump was taken, but now they have it back. All right, good rollout, avoiding. Hazar playing in an absolute dominant fashion, ready to end this set. All right, jumping back, not quite able. The back air not hitting the two frame. And Sam's back air, not enough to kill, but that counter is great, great adaptation. We haven't seen that once yet. Oh my God, that was so dangerous. Not going for the ledge, but I think they did want to go for the ledge. Damn, Hazar looking into the eyes of his enemy before ending it. Congratulations to Hazar for taking that set 3-1 and is now in winner's finals. Wow.